By 14 years old, I was a full-fledged addict. Um, I, I ended up involved with a young woman that was also a drug addict, and we had the baby. The mother abandoned the baby in the hospital. I just took the baby, went to the abandoned house, and I realized, like, this baby's not going to survive in this abandoned house. The apartment I was living at, at this time, the, the gas was off. There was no hot water, so it was kind of like in a bad situation. You know, my aunt actually had like a mini intervention, you know, trying to convince me, get on welfare or stay on welfare, quit going to school and just take care of the kids. The normal when you're a teenager, you dip and dab, but I actually started with the heavier substances, you know, using stronger drugs than just the average alcohol and marijuana. My mother used to tell me that I was slow. Used to always say, you don't have the street smarts to make it. She just was not a very encouraging person. A few years ago, I finally got arrested. And during my incarceration, I made a decision to change my life. My father died from HIV, and my mother is still currently on drugs. And I wasn't going to end up like my parents. how I got to achievability. It's like a process. Once you go into a rehabilitation center, you go to transitional housing, and they're nice houses. Just having a positive force in there, like achievability to rehab and make some of these blocks more beautiful, I think that's a real good thing. Here, I'm thinking I had to share a house, you know, with somebody, because I'm coming from the shelter. And then like a week later, my sufficiency coach called me and was like, yeah, I got you a four bedroom house. I said, a four bedroom house, clean, um, the kids room too bad for them. Oh man, it was, it, it was something else. We're not just all about drug and alcohol. There's other programs in achievability, self-sufficiency programs. I'm grateful they give you a life coach. Who gives you a life coach? It's almost like you have someone walking you through the journey. The easiest way to explain it is that people remain in poverty because they don't have skill sets and opportunity to do anything else. So. Poverty just becomes the acceptable way of life. Education is what breaking a cycle of poverty is all about. At first I was scared at the prospect of going to school, finishing school. I'm not afraid anymore. I used to be a very bad procrastinator until I got into Drexel. This will make me get my degree. And that's what they stand for, education. You can't be in a program unless you're getting your education. I was like, nah, I can't go to college. Well, if you don't really want to go to college, then you're going to have to move. And I remember thinking about the abandoned house. And, and now my daughter, she's in preschool now, and she's learning ABCs. And, and it's like, all that was going to be gone. So I went to CCP and did really well. I graduated with a 3.87 earned an academic scholarship to Drexel. Now my kids are going to college. And my daughter, I really, I honestly say she does look to me and inspired by me. She understands why I'm kind of tough on them the way I am, you know, as far as, you know, your school and grades and everything. Both my daughters graduated with meritorious honors. To live to see it and witness it was just great. It was just wonderful. I have to show my kids that there is more to life than being on welfare. Their mother has an education, so they can't really say I've been living in poverty or that they haven't had opportunities. My daughter, she's 20 now. I always tease her saying, you know what, if you don't get born and I don't come to achieve ability, I can't imagine that I would even be alive. We get certain challenges in life. It doesn't stop us. You gotta learn how to go about it. Learn how to survive in this life. I believe that there's no way you can fail if you take advantage of the opportunities that achievability is giving you. Look what they've done with little old me and look at me. <laughs>
We have a lot of struggling people in our city. As long as people need help, Achievability will be here for them.